Here we go. Hello, everyone. I'm here with a very, very special guest. One of my uh, best students, one of my favorite students, uh, May Fong Chi. Is that your full name? Yes, that's my full name. All right. Uh, do you prefer people to call you May or May Fong or just May Fong Chi or Miss Chi or oh. what do you prefer? Well, I guess almost everyone call me May. So you can call me May or May Fong. I do one will do. I I I I. I I want to know what do your friends call you? Do they call you May or May Fong? Some of them call May. Some of them call May Fong. Okay. Is is May Fong your first name, or is Fong your middle name? How does that work? Um, May is a second name. So what's so, your first? Because my first name is Robin. My middle name okay. is James. My last okay. name is Shaw. Um, so. Can just call me May. To, to make All it right, easy. we'll just call you May. Well, welcome yeah. May to the live stream. We don't have many guests on this live stream, student guests, so I am honored to be with you here. And of course, uh, if people don't know, uh, you are blind, 100% uh, blind. Is that right? Yes, I am. And you were born blind, or is it something that happened later in life? I, I was born blind. You were born blind. All right. Yes. So I just wanted to say that so everyone knows because I asked them to ask any question to you. You're comfortable with questions about your blindness? Oh, yes. All right. Now, we're not just going to focus on you being blind. That's not exactly why you're here. I'm more interested in your English. Do you speak English? Yeah. Oh, of course, yes, I, yeah, I speak English. Yes, of course you speak English. Okay, so I'm looking, I'm going to check the chat for a moment. Palavi says, hi, May, and she's hi. excited. And there's Dewey who's here. Hello, Layla is here. And Layla says, wow, it's wonderful to have an interview with lovely May. And I think uh, you are liked by everyone. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Thank of you course, very much. Alyssa, Alyssa is here, and Alyssa was my guest previously on uh, the live stream. She came on. She's so brave as as you are. Salome is here, and Sleepwalker says, "May we are glad to have you on this live." Thank you, Sleepwalker. We have Willie Wills here. And I'm getting to the questions. Sleepwalker asks May, what do you find the most difficult in learning English these days? Um, what, uh, okay, I, I am learning English from YouTube and other online sites these days. I... For me, the most challenging part will be some, like, uh, whenever some website provider, they didn't um, label the uh, details or document with proper wording. So that will be the challenging, challenging part for me. Other than that, I'm fine. I watch video. I try to do some exercises. So all that will be fine. Uh, I think Sleepwalker's question is great, but it missed a lot of earlier questions we should ask. Uh, how how, and when did you learn English? Did you learn it? Is it mandatory to learn English in uh, Malaysian school? Yes, I learned English since I was in school. But then after, when I left school, I forgot most of the skills. So I started reinforcing all my English skills like two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. Yes. And uh, you are, you're from Malaysia. I think Palavi yes, is asking uh, if you're in India. She's in Malaysia, Palavi. And I'm getting, I'm scrolling down the questions. And, you know, as the chat often do, they talk to each other a lot. 
And Layla's getting into your blindness. So what kind of difficulties do you encounter because of your blindness? Um, difficulty because uh, I would say maybe okay, that nothing, I mean, I think much difficulties for me because I was born blind. So since I was small, I already do all the daily routine. I've learned everything until I grow up. And for difficulties nowadays, maybe I would say whenever I'm walking around out there, although there are a lot of kind people here in Malaysia, but um, sometimes when the, I mean, maybe the road or the facilities is not so accessible to blind people. So that will be part of the challenge. Uh, as a English teacher, uh, and I've been teaching you for well, I, I I can't I can't exactly use the word teaching. I don't know. I've been talking to you because you already speak English very well. I've been talking to you for a few months, and I must admit, I do wonder uh, certain concepts because you're very active in the chat uh, in our WhatsApp group and. Mm -hmm. You know, they're always talking about uh, certain concepts like colors. Okay. Bl blue, red. And uh, when we say a color, uh, how do you, what is a color to you? Because what a color to you is very different than what a color is to us, right? So when we say blue, what does that, what does um, that mean to you? I don't see, okay, I don't see color in real. I mean, I don't know how they look like, but um whenever okay let's say for, for example i want to wear a clothes or i want to buy something i will ask the person uh, who is with, with me i'll ask them um what is this color or maybe i'll ask them is, is, is this suitable for me how does it look so based on their recommendation i will choose any i think i mean if i mentioned that i like pink and purple because whenever i wear pink or purple they most of the, most of the time they say it look nice on me so that's why most of the time i would choose either pink or purple okay so yeah you have no concept of what a color is uh no and, I don't have. and then when we're the students are often saying words like beautiful pretty ugly also is that something how, how 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 do you approach those words when someone oh that's a beautiful uh scenery or a beautiful uh chair i don't know what they're talking about so they uh, when they describe i would just um um i mean when it comes to scenery i can't really imagine it but for me when they say beautiful that means something nice to make it easy so something to make, looks nice, means something look nice yes and what what is beautiful to you in beautiful. from your from your perspective what is a beautiful thing is that a voice uh, is that a sound is that a feeling can be all of that okay all right i'm getting i'm getting deep into the questions uh do you do you consider uh, do you consider it a disability? Your blindness. Uh huh. Do you, do you consider that a disability? Um, most of the time I don't, but at a certain point I have to admit, or I need to uh, declare. So and that is the only time I need to uh, tell people. And other than that. I don't consider it at, as a disability unless if there is something I can't do it, then that, at that time I will consider it as something out of my ability and I'll ask someone else to assist. Yeah, you, you, you continually amaze me of how independent you are uh, and you're very good with technology. Yeah, you're, you... 
I guess you really like using your phone a lot. Uh, it not only it helps it helps you, but you use your phone a lot for entertainment. So, what kind of what kind of things beyond beyond just a tool? What do you use your phone for? I use phone and laptop, actually phone and laptop, and with a screen screen reader installed. So it helps me to connect with uh, almost everything I can say, from website to chat to online shopping, all of that. Yes, yes. But what kind of entertainment do you use your phone for? Any sort of ent entertainment? Do you watch it or listen to a video or something? The connection's not so. I watch strong. video. Do you watch movies or TV shows? Um, no, I'm not. I don't really enjoy watching movies, actually. I watch reality okay. shows like a uh, concert or maybe a uh, singing contest. So I'll watch this kind of program. All right. Uh, so Sleepwalker, what hobbies do you have besides learning the language? I like Do you have a hobby to... besides English? English is I just like... a hobby, right? <laughs> Not really a hobby. Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> my, my jokes are interrupting your answer. What hobbies do you have besides learning the language? I like to listen to music, listen to the radio. And then and nowadays, I like to do online shopping. <laughs> online shopping. Although I don't buy all the time, I just like to have a look. And Layla asked, do you think learning English is harder because of blindness or is there no difference between blind being blind or not? Um, there's no difference, actually. The only difference is the way we learn. Um, like when, com when it comes to watching video, we watch the same video, um, but I will choose whatever video that is not so friendly to blind. I will just drop it and choose another one. And there are millions of videos online you can choose. So no problem. Also exercises. There are a lot of exercises um, that is accessible to blind. So I can choose that one. Whatever not accessible, I just leave it. So it's no, not so difficult actually are are my videos good for blind people oh yes definitely i would say really yes, yes. i don't know uh, on the daily english homework channel i don't think a lot of those videos are good for blind people but because uh, i'm asking for descriptions and such but you but do, you do, you're do active despite. it's amazing i i have videos they require, uh, you know, looking at an image, but you still do the homework. Because you, I think uh, you describe some of the video. So. I try, I try. I don't always remember to, because I'm, I'm nervous making videos. Uh, so, so sometimes uh, I'm not, I'm not thinking about you. I'm so nervous making a video that I, I forget to describe better or something. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Layla says, if you don't mind, what kind of job do you work? What kind of job? Okay. Um, I'm working in an office. So mainly my job is as a telephone operator. I receive uh, Sorry, can you, re your, uh, can you say your job again? I work in I an work, office. I'm working, okay. I'm working as a telephone operator. Telephone operator. And what that, does that mean? That's my main job. So, um, my main job function will be that attend to all calls that come into to my office, and I make outgoing calls. So I take is down it, messages. Is, is that reception, like a reception See, job? Something similar to reception. The only different will be I do not sit at the reception place. Okay. I sit inside. 
and how long have you had that job? I've been working there about, I think, about 16, 17 years. 17 years. Wow. Yes. And do they pay you very well? Mm, okay. So far, it's uh, enough for me to survive. It's enough to survive. That doesn't sound... Yes. Is it enough to save? Yes. Okay. To so survive and save, I would say. So they're surviving and they're surviving and saving, but you can save. Yes. Okay. And Layla again asked, what kind of accent do you speak with? Oh. My, my <laughs> guess would be a Malaysian accent. As long as people can understand. I don't really follow any accents. Well, Malaysians, you have your most Malaysians are trilingual. Is that correct? You have to learn Malay, Chinese, and English. Well, I shouldn't say most. But, yes. Uh, you, you, you tell us what languages do the kids learn in Malaysia? Mainly uh, Malay. And then if you choose to go to a Chinese school, then your main language will be Chinese because you will be learning all the subjects in Chinese. And then, of course, everyone have to learn English. Did you go to a Chinese school? No, I don't. No, I didn't. Okay. So, do you, do you speak Chinese? Yes, at home I speak Chinese. But when it comes to official writing or reading, I can't do that. Is that Cantonese or Mandarin? I speak or ca Cantonese. Cantonese or man Mandarin? Uh, I speak Cantonese at home. But um, for those who are in school... The official Chinese language will be Mandarin. All right. Uh, we have, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, saying hello. We have a movie and review. How do you watch videos? How do I, okay. Um, to make it easy, I will say I listen to the video. So I won't look at whatever appear on the screen what, like whatever image of uh, who is acting in that video but i will listen to all the words mentioned all the details okay are you interested in any hollywood movies have you watched any hollywood movies uh, not really i okay. i don't enjoy watching movies <laughs> okay okay i don't watch them either uh, Palavi asks, how long have you been in learning English? Um, from school, and then recently, two years. Fabio Diniz, she, rem she reminds me of the book, My Guide in the Darkness. Do you know what that book, have you heard about that book, My Guide mm, in the Darkness? No, I have not heard about no, okay. that. Okay. In Marnawati, I think English language is the second language in Malaysia. Is it right? Yes, it is. And Zachariah Hussein, have you heard about Helen Keller? No, I have not heard. You haven't heard about Helen Keller? She was the, uh, about 100 years ago, she was the woman who was deaf and blind. Oh, okay. And she had uh -huh. the, she could not hear, she could not see, but she uh -huh. went on to, I guess she went on to university and to write books. And Sleepwalker May, is English your first foreign language that you learn? Oh, yes. I, beside our local language, I only learn English. And Janena Costa says, besides English, is there any other language you would like to learn? Um, maybe I'll consider learning Japanese. So Korea, Korean is not on the list. You, maybe. you've been, you've been to Korea, right? Yes, I've been. Have you been to Korea, Japan? So. No. So you've been to Korea, but you're not interested in the language. You want to go to Japan. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, which countries have you traveled to, May? So far, Korea, Indonesia, and I think Thailand. You think? Yes, you Thailand. Don't know. Uh, uh, Thailand, yes. Uh, uh, and were those all for pleasure or were there business trips? All 
pleasure trip. Okay. And what's your favorite country among that list? Um, I would say Korea in this because I love the te the technology that they have, and then um, the environment is clean when I was there. Okay. We have uh, Blue Taeyang. Good evening, sir. Salutations from India and good evening, sister. I guess your sister. And Lavanya says, how to deal with massage. But I think Lavanya had a message. typo and she wants to say message. Or answer both. How do you deal with massages and how do you deal with messages? Oh. Um. I didn't learn to do massage, although a lot of my blind friends out there are doing massage. As a, as a job? As a job, yes, as a job. Yeah, that's in Korea, officially only blind people are allowed to become masseuses, the people oh, that do okay. the massage. Not others. Uh, officially, but there are ways to, <laughs> to, to, to get in. To get around that rule, but. Uh, so how do you deal with messages? How can you keep up in the WhatsApp groups that can be overwhelming at times, to, even to me? Um, well, I will... Okay, the, the screen reader will do the reading for me. So I will scroll. Whichever I like to reply, I... And I mean, sometimes there are a lot of messages. So I will put, that, put those messages aside I will put a star. Then when I finish reading all the messages, then only I reply. Do you read everything? <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Okay. And whenever I receive like 300 or maybe three to 400, then I will choose. Yeah, I want to just check the last one. Uh, Ali, hello, May, thank you. He said a nice comment to me. Salma says, how long have you known Robin? <laughs> Actually, I started watching videos from Shaw English um, to be specific in January 2021 or December 2020, about uh, around that time. But I only saw a few videos from Shaw English. Then it's like after that, everything is everything is gone. And in this year, May, in the month of May, I started watching you again. Yeah, Sama. Uh, I think Sama is a new student. And also, May, you're a new student. You came in around the same time. Uh, yeah, I started uh, watching you a few months fully in apart. May, actually. But I didn't join the WhatsApp group. But still, it's a miracle that you found my shy English. Somehow you jo you found the WhatsApp group, and you're probably not sent into the good group immediately. You're sent into the the there's other groups I have to check. It's the, good, the main good. group. And uh, for somehow I found out who you are and sent you to the the better group. There's there's a lot of people I never find out who they are. They just they leave because the, that group's nasty. But any and now you're on the live stream, so. Wow. <laughs> Salma, when are you coming on the live stream? Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we just known each other since May then. Yes, officially in May. Uh, Palavi says, you're great. Harry 300 is coming in late asking about your hobbies again. So her hobbies are smoking and drinking alcohol, whiskey, listening think, to music. I think Robin is describing his hobbies. My hobbies. And how did you learn English, May Palavi's asking it. Uh, I will expand on this. Uh, how is there, you know, in America, there's Braille okay. for reading. Does mm -hmm. Malay teach a certain... Braille is it the same Braille? I'm ignorant about that. Are there books Braille, written? Um, Braille is actually a uh, how do I say it? It's a way of reading for blind people. So yes. the machine is called Braille. 
I mean, everyone, every blind person need to learn how to read Braille actually, because that's the main thing. So yes, so, I, in Malaysia, yeah, we, we learn from, from the day we enter school, we have to learn. Now, is Braille a unique language or is it just Malay or Chinese language no, can written, in, written in Braille? Uh, it can be in Malay, it can be in English and other languages. Okay, English. so it's just copying the language somehow. Yes, yeah, so okay. but uh, the, it's just transcribing from the alphabet to the Braille to the dots. So when we press on the machine, the dots, some dots will come out so we can feel with our finger. So did you read English books in Braille? When I was in school. All right. Good. And Lavanya is asking, Robin, why do you look so tired? Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> uh, and uh, Alyssa asks, Did you, do you have Braille no novels? Yes. We just talked about that. Pallavi, what do you do in your free time, May? Today's Sunday. You're not working. What did you do today? I watch video. I chat with my friends. I was chatting in the group just now. Sometimes I will go up, but only, I mean, uh, these days I don't go out often. So I just at home. Layla's asking, do you consider you, yourself that you learned most of your English from YouTube by yourself or from school? I guess Layla's interested to know where you learned the majority of your English. Um, nowadays, I learn everything from YouTube and also other websites. And two years ago, I got a sponsor course where I learned from a company. Company? Yes, and was that a, a good experience? E-learning e company, yes. It was good. Okay, good. Good for you. And do most Malaysians speak... This is from Layla. Do most Malaysians speak English according to your experience? Mm, not really. Not, not everyone speaks English here. But uh, I can say now... I mean, recently, and most of the people... Most of us here started learning and we don't feel shy as those days. So yes, many people start learning English. And Tapendra Kumar Ram, hello. We had a lot of people from India today. So welcome to all the Indians, new students. Uh, Plavi is asking, are you feeling nervous? I guess that question's for me and the answer is yes. <laughs> I am always nervous when I'm on camera. May, do you feel nervous? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> it's difficult to come in uh, on on a live chat and you know expose yourself to the world and the questions. Salma asks, "You seem to be a calm person. Are you easily stressed?" Oh, I when I was younger, yes. I easily get stressed. I, I, I was a bit hot temper, but when I get older, it, it change a lot. I mean, I become a bit, I become calm and have more patience in a lot of things. You see, yeah, I agree with Salma. You seem to be very calm, not so dramatic as the other people in our group. Uh, Alyssa, like asked, <laughs> you like to watch, not participate. I like to watch the drama. Uh, Alyssa asks, Do you use audio description? Um, what audio description is she referring to? I don't know. What do you think? No, I don't use any audio description apps. Uh, Harry 300, because you're blind, how do you go to work? Oh, okay, that's a very interesting question. So, um, 
I walk with a uh, walking stick or we call it a white cane. So I can feel the road or any obstacle in front of me. Like there's a, a step down or step up. Maybe sometimes there's uh when there's something blocking so i go to work by train and by bus so i will i will know what are their schedules like so i will follow that, how long is that journey how long is that commute from your house to work about one hour one hour and 15 15 minutes to one hour and 30 minutes if that's, a, transport that's, a, long, that's a long journey Yes, uh, it is. you've been doing you've been doing that for 17 years. Oh, yes. No so, choice because I am depending on the public transport. So I need to follow the schedule. If they are late, I'll just sit there and wait. Well, that's the good thing about Japan. They are always on schedule. <laughs> like what about Korea? Are, Korea, not so much. Uh, not so much. That's, but Japan, uh, they, you know, everything follows the schedule exactly. And they apologize if they, you know, if they're 30 minutes or 30 seconds or one minute oh, late. Yes, they, I, they, they, they... I knew that. Um, so what if it's raining? Like, doesn't that just disrupt the whole process of getting to work? Oh yes, that's very true. If there is, uh, if uh, um, whenever there is a heavy rain, so it will be difficult for me because I need to walk with an umbrella, and then I need to hear the sound around me with the rain interruption and all that. So and then all the whole place will be wet. So that will be a challenging moment for me. Layla asks, do you try to read a lot of English or only listen to audiobooks or YouTube videos? To be honest, I don't I don't like reading. I don't like reading. Well, that's so, how you found me. YouTube videos. Uh, do you listen to audiobooks? Um, I listen to something short. Short. To make it easy. I mean, okay. not longer than uh, one hour, like I will only watch things in 15 minutes or maybe 20 minutes. Half, I, half an hour is still okay. I but think not... that's the whole a whole world right now. We have no attention span. Uh, one, well, even for me, watching uh, anything over an hour uh, is Unless very it is a difficult. live stream. Oh, yeah. Well, you could just listen you know, and yes. cook or exercise. Can chat. Uh, Jawed Sadiq, what do you think about grammar while learning English and how did you learn about grammar? Um, com uh, I like grammar actually compared to writing. I like grammar. For me, when you learn grammar, you just need to write short sentence. So it's fine. Uh, Willie Wills says, great. Uh, Layla says, by the way, May, can you speak? You can speak English very well. That's more than amazing. I like how you speak. So she's just appreciating your English. Thank you. Thank you. And Zachariah, do you watch the news? Uh, I read the news because news news is not a long thing. A long thing. So I read the news. And do you usually, Layla asks, do you usually travel with your family, with your friends, or alone? Sometimes I will travel with my mom, and then sometimes I will go out with my friends. And Dewey is asking, which place do you come in Indonesia? Uh, I went to Bandung and Jakarta. Lavi, May, do you type or speak while doing your homework? I type. Zachariah Hussein, are guide dogs common in Malaysia? No, Good question. Not really. not really. We don't. I mean, uh, I have not seen or known any blind person who use 
dog as a guidance in Malaysia? Uh, I've seen videos where the guide dogs uh, are very well trained to. They are uh, maybe um, they are mostly in West Western country or yeah, I think it's Western country in Western country. Would you like a guide dog? <laughs> Not really. All right, Harry is asking uh, 300. Do you mind to tell me what your eyes can capture when you see around? Is it like blurry things or totally dark? Um, nothing. Now, I, I like, sorry, I like this question because, uh, you know, it, it's just showing he wants to learn about your experience, and we all do. So, yeah, your eyes are, we can see you have eyes. Your eyes are looking around, but what do you see, May, or not see? Um, I couldn't see anything, but whenever there's a flashlight coming near, I mean, direct to my eyes, let's say um, in front of my eyes, I mean, it, it must be very, very near, so I can feel the light. It's, you can it's like something shining in front of my eyes. You can feel the light. You can uh, yes. It's, it's like something is shining something something is bright in front of my eyes so that's all i can see but you don't actually see a lighter shade yes. of darkness um no yeah it's it's hard for us to uh, perceive that um so your eyes can detect something cannot yes our eyes can detect only can detect the um i mean flashlight bright light, bright yeah, light. in your in your eyes so uh, i guess when you're dreaming what's happening what's happening oh, in your brain when you're dreaming that's a very interesting question <laughs> um it's something like the real life real thing happen like um, I would dream of walking around. I, although I don't walk, I will, let's say I just I think sometimes I will dream about the people in my office, what we do, what we did, where we where we went, or, or maybe I will dream about having some small talk or small argument. So it's just like real life. Because. Uh... When we say dreaming or even nightmare, you, you have nightmares too? Oh, so far, I have not gone through any weird nightmare. Because uh, to, to me, dreams are such a visual thing where we can okay. see uh, to you, it's just you're you're talking to people and you have feeling you still have the feelings and you can you can have conversations in your dream oh, yes, things that's, like that's that that's true that's true it, it's like that thing happened in our, our real life everything is so real sleepwalker may may did you think long before agreeing to this live or was it a spontaneous <laughs> decision well i I think I consider it about a few minutes, about 10 to 15 minutes to say it, yes. It was pretty spontaneous because I asked someone in the group today, what should I talk about tonight? May suggested an interview and I said, are you volunteering? And yes, I wasn't here. expecting for that question, actually. Uh, Jawed Sadiq, what do you think about grammar while learning English and how did you learn grammar? Please tell us and how will it take time to learn to be fluent? Okay. Do, do you think studying, I'm going to rephrase this question. Do you think uh, studying grammar, did you study, well, let's go into your past. Did you study grammar a lot? Um, yes, I do actually. Do you think that strong grammar foundation is the reason you speak English well, or is it an another reason? Um, two years ago, I started when I started 
uh, when I was learning with this uh, e-learning company, so they, they their main focus is on speaking and grammar. So that's how I improve my speaking and my grammar. And when I finish, I look on the website. And actually, there are a lot of websites out there who offer grammar lessons. So it, and it is free. The most important thing is. So that's but how what I what took you to the next level? Because at that time, I, I was. Well, I'm a, asking what? What do you think uh -huh. really made you to improve your English? Like, was it the grammar? Was it the friends? Was it the class, the teacher? What actually brought you to the level you are now? What do you think? Reading? What do you think? Mm, mainly it's because of the teachers at that time. And after that, since I have a lot of free time, a lot of free time, so I just explore whatever website that has grammar exercises. So I just went into the website and I tried the exercise. All right, Layla is asking, do you speak to native English speakers in your job or oh, only no, with no. some native speakers who Robin brought? <laughs> no, How often there's... do you touch, talk to native speakers? I guess the people in the group are the only the native speaker I have. Sleepwalker say, May is brave too. I think that's because I said Alyssa was brave. Of course, you're brave and certainly... Uh, mm -hmm. May is the bravest person in this chat right now because she's the one who accepted my offer to come on to the live stream. The rest of you didn't accept that. You're all cowards. All right. Uh, Jao, it says, sir, I want to join your WhatsApp group. Usually in the description of my videos, you can find the WhatsApp group. Uh, I'm going to jump ahead. We're a little bit behind in the questions. Uh so I'm going to, uh, sorry, chat, I'm going to skip a few questions just to catch up a little bit. So uh, I guess, May, do, do you practice speaking with your not online friends, your offline friends? Do you use English in your daily life? With my colleagues, some of my colleagues speak English. So, so you're, I speak you're speaking English with them? Yes. We have Mr. Frosty. Hello, Shiva. Hello, Eunice is here. Hello. And Nimasha, did you miss anything before you became blind? And um, you were born blind. Yes, I was born blind. So there's nothing for me to miss. Uh, she, She's a different... She, How she perceives the world is very different than us. And sometimes I think we forget that, right? We forget that we do not consider you enough, and that how you perceive the world is different. Does it does it make you frustrated in the chat when we're mm -hmm. talking about look at this picture of food, and everyone's saying, "Oh, it looks so delicious." Oh, what's that? You know, th does that sort of thing make you frustrated, or are you just Ooh. are are you just that's so common in your life that it that's doesn't, something doesn't really look. common. So that's nothing offends me when it comes to, comes to that. I would just ask, what is that? How it tastes <laughs> like? I would just ask questions like that. that but it never offends me at all. Are you, are you a foodie? Oh, yes, I am. I love it. Now we're getting to the real questions. What kind of food do you like? This is the question everyone really wants to know. <laughs> I prefer spicy food in Malaysia and spicy food mainly so, from chicken. I I like to eat chicken. I imagine the food in Malaysia is very multicultural, like it's coming from all yes, kinds of places. Uh, of what would be the main dish in Malaysia? Um, mostly spicy, spicy food. Spicy chicken or spicy, spicy chicken, noodles? Chili, chili, noodles. Rice with coconut. And do you also cook? Oh, I I only know how to eat. I can cook instant noodles. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Mr. Frosty, do you actually enjoy English? Or do you wish the world spoke every language? I'm not sure I understand the question, Mr. Frosty. No, well, we'll just question. we'll just focus. Do you act do you actually enjoy English? Yes, I enjoy learning English. Do you enjoy speaking English? Yes, I do. Why? Why? Because I feel like when I when I am improving my English, I can speak with more people. I can read a lot of things on the website. So that makes me want to learn more. Hey, Vichika says, hello, sir and miss. I'm from Cambodia. Can you tell me about more about how to learn English faster? And speak cleanly. Well, I will take this one. Hey, join our WhatsApp group. Uh, and also, you know, you have to study every day. May here is active every day. Every day, May is active with her English. She didn't talk about that. But certainly being active every day, whether it's just chatting or listening or uh, writing, that's going to help your English, help at least to keep your level. If, if not, just improve it. Um, actually, there's no way of learning fast. Uh, well, it, it depends on the age. You know, <laughs> kids learn it so fast. Like, <laughs> when I teach a kid uh, some grammar in five minutes, you know, they'll mm -hmm. remember it forever. Wow. If I teach some vocabulary, they remember it forever. But if someone's in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, uh, they forget after 10 minutes. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I forget. You know, I learned a lot of grammar uh, teaching for my channel, and I, I I forget it. I forget it, too. Anyway, uh, Pallavi says, May, you're great. I love how you speak. Thank, thank you. Also, Pallavi. your voice is so sweet. It <laughs> is my you, pleasure. It is my pleasure to see you and learn from you. Keep smiling like this. And she has a smile emoji, heart emoji, a hands thank you emoji, and another heart emoji. That's from Pallavi. Uh, and Layla uh, says or asks, May, how can you imagine the appearance of Robin? Well, okay. That question is very, very, very interesting. I was I actually I am thinking to, of asking everyone or maybe someone in the group to describe you, Robin. No, don't ask them to describe me. <laughs> so I am considering to do that actually. <laughs> when when I visit you, May, uh, is it's it's appro is it appropriate to touch face? I'm touching my face now. Is do blind people touch the face and the body when they meet people? Is that a thing? No, most of the time we don't do that, and we don't actually look at the person appearance actually. So if you meet someone new, like your coworkers, you never touch their face. You no, no, no. Their... <laughs> we don't do that. Uh touch their hair or oh, no. things like that. You know? We don't do all that. You know, in movies, sometimes in dramas, they have a blind person and that blind person will go up and touch the person's face and nose. And uh, That is uh, only in the drama. Okay, Unless I'm just that asking. Person in, in, uh, is your family members or maybe your spouse, your sibling, then you can do that. Okay. With outside people, we don't do uh sleepwalker says robin you're a good interviewer uh i am the worst interviewer uh and jawad sadiq who's a new member today asking a lot of questions good for your participation jawad may uh will you ever well would you ever think about an eye operation Okay, no. I when I was small, my mother used to hope for an eye operation for me, 
but according to at the, the, at the advice from the doctor, it is not necessary for me to do any operation. Uh, not necessary. That means impossible. It looks like that, but when I see some of my friends who did eye operation, and after, the moment they uh, after they did the operation, they can see that's true. But after some time, they became they become blind again. So, oh. doctor advice not to do. So, uh, does the government sponsor that, or do they have to pay? No, they need to do it on their own. So that must be expensive. If you are rich, you can do it, but the risk is there. There's no hundred percent of guarantee. Uh, well, this is a sensitive question. Then, is it hmm. is it worth it, even if you go blind again? Would you do that? Mm -hmm. You mean uh, one? You pay a lot of money, uh -huh. and you no, can get. That's why you get eyes. Advisable. You get eyes for a year, mm -hmm. and uh, you go blind again. No, it uh, is not worth at all. Okay. Palavi, <laughs> how do you manage all the things? All the things. How do you manage, she, May? All does the she things. mean daily routine? Yeah. How do you manage living? Uh, well, okay. Um, so, I do well, I gotta uh, guess everything. You lived in the same house for seventeen years. Yes uh, or yes. no? Yes. For for so the you, past 10, 10 to twelve years. All right. So you know exactly where everything is positioned. Yes. Uh, do you live with someone? You live with your mother. Yes, with my parents, my mom and my dad. And I, I guess they're trained to always put things back to the proper place, or do they? Uh, I put move? all my things wherever I want. So. But if I, you're walking through the hallway and there, there's a no, chair no, in front, know. and you stub your toe and you're like, damn it, mom. No, no. <laughs> no, it's never going to be like that. So I can, I, actually, I can feel or maybe i can adjust the position of let's say a table or a chair or a cabinet so i can roughly know where are the where are the position so if i asked you oh do you have a pen may no i don't have i don't use a pen <laughs> but in my home yes i we have a pen yeah, I guess that's a dumb question. Uh, what could I ask? Where's your hairbrush? You would be able to find that in immediately, of right? Course. Yes. And of your course. toothbrush. And yeah, your. Of uh, 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 can all you give me a coffee? Oh, uh, yeah. You can all. So, Pallavi, I think in her house, uh, she can manage everything very well. Uh, even cookie, cooking, if she ever dared to do that because she doesn't seem to like that but you cook you can cook right you can manage the stove and the uh, oven yes. and the burners I, yeah, you can manage all I that how to cook, that's all. you just don't know how to cook but mm -hmm. if, if forced to survive you can cook some noodles instant noodles for sure I can cook but not spicy chicken no I mean heavy duty but can you use the app to order spicy chicken? Of course, I can order from, uh, I mean, the, we have a few apps here where we can order food. So sometimes I order if I feel like eating something. So I will just open the app and order. Eunice says, May, do you know Alyssa? Yes. I think she has the same situation <laughs> as yours. Yes, we we were having a chat in the group earlier. Yeah, I saw I saw a little bit of that chat. Uh, how often do you talk to Alyssa? Sometimes I. It, it depends. Oh. Days in the week. All right. And we have Asifa. Hello, and some name I cannot read. Hello. 
And uh, Lavanya says, my school's Tamil, Tamil language teacher is a disability. I remember that. What disability, Lavanya? And Layla, do you get a lot of help from strangers when you need to get on the street or in public places? Sorry for asking this question. Why are you sorry for I asking the question? That's why we're here. Almost every day, Lena. So every day they're helpful. I speak to strangers almost every day. But they're yes. helpful to you. From time to time, someone will come to me and ask, "Where do I want to go? Uh, am I taking a bus? What which bus am I taking?" So, yes, there are a lot of great people that I meet every day. Uh, Palavi, may do you imagine a lot of things, right? Yes, I do. Oh. So again, this is a something we we our brains don't speak the la same language of imagining. So how we imagine, you imagine, I must. I, I don't know, like how, what, when you, what's going through your brain when you imagine? Um, I imagine what, like, I, what will happen in future if I, let's say if I do this, what will happen? Or uh, maybe I will imagine um, what will this person say if I do this? Yeah, so these kind of things I will. But imagine. let's, let's make it clear for Pallavi. This okay. imagine is not images. Yes, he is will never in image in, in, she, in images. Uh, May does it's a thought, not. It's a thought. Yeah, it's a thought. May does not have any concept of color, uh, things like that. She cannot imagine a scene. Uh, anything is a thought. And the follow-up question from Raid: Do you like seafood? <laughs> <laughs> we go from yes, the deep, deep questions to the basic seafood. Yes, I do. All right. I'm going to jump ahead to Zachariah. Uh, how do visually impaired people navigate finding a partner? Oh. <laughs> it's time to get into the love life. <laughs> So they can be in many ways, actually. Maybe. Is there a Tinder for blind people? Uh, if you have a phone, you would like to access to all that chatting site or finding partner site, you can do that. So, May, do you do that? No, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. I don't. In fact, I am not so in not so interested to join in the public chat but um i i don't know actually i really don't know how i can get into the whatsapp group <laughs> but no, usually i will reject all the uh public invite or chats and all that uh gui anna says you're amazing me and uh, Layla says, did you prepare for this interview interview before starting with Robin? No, she just, no, I, I sent her the link. She navigated into the room and she's pretty good with technology. Asifa Hussein says, how to stay positive? Uh, you look so positive. Uh, and I would agree, May, you seem a lot more positive than you should be. Uh, not saying because you're blind, your life sucks. It's just life sucks in general for everybody. And you seem pretty positive. How do you stay positive? I do have negative thoughts sometimes. But then um, just remember whatever it is, life must go on. So we must live. We must survive. So that's all. Whatever it is, we must, we must wake up every day and do whatever we're supposed to do. And just be be a little more patient in everything. Janina Costa, I wish I were so calm and tranquil like May when speaking English. Well, uh -huh. Janina, let's get you on here next week. 
<laughs> Salva says, have you experienced discrimination? Okay. That happened in real, no doubt. That happened uh, when I was sometimes there are people out there who think or oh, whenever they see a disabled person, they will think like, oh, like how how to handle this person? And what can she or he do? How is it will it be difficult? So things like that will happen. Yeah. And uh, I'm one of these people, May. You know, if I see you on the street and I'm gonna I'm gonna feel uncomfortable. I know uh as we were talking earlier before we went live, I, I don't know about blind people very well. So on the street, if I see you, I, I just, I don't know what to do. I'm going to feel uncomfortable. And if I'm in a business, I might treat you differently. If I'm in a company, certainly I'm going to be worried. Can this person work? Uh, mm -hmm. Can this person do the same things as a person who sees? Uh, but I, I think you, you prove you, you, You've continually had to prove yourself in your life. That is the You always had to people. prove, which is a little different. People might be given a chance, but you had to prove always that I can do this to, I guess, calm Sometimes people. I'll just ignore all that and just do whatever I can. And if you actually, if you remember, I didn't tell you that I'm a blind person during the earlier stage. When I do all your homework, I didn't tell you until I, when I come into the WhatsApp group, then only you find out. Uh, I don't remember when you told me. Yeah, I didn't I, tell I, you actually. I, I just I, do the homework just like other students. So normally I will do that because I don't want people to, oh, she's blind. So we must treat her differently with some you know, special treatment and all that. So... I don't prefer all that all time. But I uh, but I'm giving you special treatment now. <laughs> yes. I I'm putting you now. on the live stream. I'm not putting Harry 300 on the live stream. He's not special. I mean in I, the <laughs> earliest stage, not at the first first time or first meet itself. But the moment you tell me you you cannot see, then I'm going to adjust the homework uh well sometimes to to make it more uh, accessible to you or you know, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, there's pros and cons. I understand why you would want to keep it a secret. So initially, people are just going to judge you for your effort without knowing. And you did impress me uh, <laughs> and others. Yeah, your blindness, it, other than seeing you now, uh, your your work in the homework channel has been better than most students it's it's yeah you're very, you're very capable of doing anything all right harry 300 since you said you're a foodie how can you find the restaurant you want to go let's say you want to go buy fried chicken in kfc how do you know that you are at the kfc already I will go out to eat with my friends or I'll just order it from the apps. So, I mean, if if the restaurant is just um, around me or at my neighborhood, then I'll, I, I know how to go to the restaurant. So, if it is a bit far from me, then I'll order it or I will go out with, with, with my friends. All right. I'm just uh, Dawid says I didn't find any uh, WhatsApp group in the description. So I just put some information in the description, Dawid. If you join the WhatsApp group, please notify me that you watch the live stream. Um, Raid, Raid asks me, do you like a song? What is your favorite song? If I have a song, uh, I prefer ballad song. That's as I actually I have many favorite songs, but my favorite genre will be ballad song. Ballad. Yes, I don't like those with um, heavy rock music and all that. Lavanya says so. We are having fun in our group. 
your message reader reading every message? Yes, Lavanya, it reads everything, including all your jokes. Uh, jokes, yes. How about emojis? It, does it read the emojis? Yes, uh, sometimes, uh, most of the time, it describes. Right. It's a smiling or maybe laughing or maybe baby food. Sometimes it, it will describe. What kind of things do you absolutely need your mom to help you or your friends? Um, what what so are you reliant on? Searching them for, for things sometimes when I can't find it. Um I mainly I would say to look at the color. Okay, so, so you put on some clothes or what's um, just to check so what's the I color will ask of the my shirt? Mom or my friend, what is this? Um is this suitable with this one? So that kind of assistance. Now, uh, are people nice if you have some food on your face or some grease on your face? Do they tell you? Yes, some of my, sometimes my colleague will tell me. Right, you have good. something on your shirts or what happened? Because my students never tell me. <laughs> no, my colleague I'll, will. I'll go all day with something on my face. <laughs> And I'll get home and I'm like, oh, my God, why didn't anyone tell me this? Yeah, because it is hard for, for them to tell you because you are their professor. So it, it is hard for them to tell you, hey, something on your face is not like me. I, I uh, communicate with all my colleagues. So we speak every day. So it is easy for them to just tell me, hey, what's on your face? Why are you not washing it properly? So they will just tell me things like that. So I will know. You have nice friends. Michelle says her English is very good. Thank you. Layla asks, May, do you understand all the words that Robin says immediately? Because that's what I see. Uh, I understand. Do you, do you understand everything. everything I say? Yes, I do. So at this point, you've probably listened to me in over a hundred videos. So you uh, you've listened to my voice so many times. I think everyone here watching you 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 must be masters at understanding Robin by now because I'm in so many videos. And what, how does my voice compare to other native speakers? May give me your criticism right now. Give it to me. Only bad things. Go. I do not compare people voices actually as uh, long as you speak clear uh, is enough do for I, me. do i speak clear yes you do okay mike is here from mike's english lab hello mike hello mike does mike speak clear yes he does all right dewey says i'm always proud of you may you have good motivation in life and never give up thank you and Jawed, Robin, sir, you are authentic and a good interviewer. Uh, interviewer, thank you. May is inspirational for us. Love you both. Thank you, Jawed, Sadiq. Hope to see you in the WhatsApp group. Join the family. Uh, okay, I'm jumping ahead here. We're gonna finish up in a couple minutes. So, any last questions or comments for May? Get them in. And Sleepwalker asks, May, are you proud of yourself now because of your new? live experience oh i don't really get the question what, what you are live now do you okay, feel yes. proud of coming on to the live exposing oh. your english i feel proud at the same time i feel nervous well how are you going to feel when the, tomorrow oh uh, no one is good i guess no one from my office it's watching. <laughs> well, you can send them a link. <laughs> I'll see how. <laughs> because I didn't tell them that I watched. I I watching all this on YouTube and all that. Because some of I mean sometimes they will, you know, it, uh, say that uh, watching this at the office or what. So that's why I prefer not to, not to share with them all this. Are you are you walking now, May? Yes, I do because 
um, my laptop is running out of battery soon. All right, all right. We'll finish up here. Uh... All right, chat. I'm going to skip ahead a few questions. You can continue. I plug in. Uh... Shivani says, Hi, May. What, what inspired you the most in life? What inspired me the most in life? Uh, the people who like who, who like to learn and never give up. All right. All right, we're going to finish up. Uh, May, thank you very much for coming on the live stream. Thank you uh, for inviting me. Of course, you are loved by many people in the WhatsApp group. Thank you, everyone. Uh, you are very... You're very nice, uh, very, as they said, very calm, very stable. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy you're part of our WhatsApp family and our YouTube family here. So you're, you're one of the best things that happened this year to me was meeting May. And certainly I'll come visit you in Malaysia as soon as I can. Okay, you're, you're, you're always welcome here. All right, so everyone, say your goodbyes to May. We're going to end. Uh, so Sleepwalker, thank you, May. Layla, I'm so glad to join this special interview with May. She is a superhero. Uh, and and uh, maybe you can come back in the future. Dewey says bye, May. All right, thank you, everyone, and thank bye. you for watching. Bye, everyone. We'll see you in the group. <laughs>